So 6B was find the value of 110110 base 2 plus or divide by 1001 base 2 giving you answer in base 2. Okay, so uh, students were asked to find the 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 value or to divide 110110 by 1001. Okay, so what you need to do is first uh, you to to divide any number in a, in a, in a different uh, base rather than a chain. What you need to do first you need to convert uh, the number the numbers given into base ten. Then you divide. Then you convert the quotient you get into that number. Like in this case, we are going to convert numbers in base two into base ten. Then divide. Then Later on, you convert the quotient into base 2. Okay. So, what we need to do, uh, I, for me to divide, I'll start by converting the numbers into base 10. So, it's going to be like this. I'm going to rewrite these numbers just like I've done. Then, I'm going to identify their place value. So, I'll write their place value there on top. Okay. If you don't know how to convert numbers in base 2 into base 10, please check on our videos. Oh yeah, on our videos, we will find a playlist called uh, Number Bases, and then try to find the num the video where we talked about converting numbers in base C, uh, two into base ten. In fact, there are two videos, or there are two ways. One where we use the press value method, and this method I'm going to show you in this video. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to convert these numbers. Before we convert, we need to identify the the press value of which number so i'm going to start with a divisor which is 1001 so the number on the far right which is 1 as the press value of ones and the number the, the zero that is next as the press value of twos and the next zero is as the press value of fours and one has got the press value of eights okay now i'm done with the the divisor to identify the press values now let me go to the dividend so uh, the, the, the first zero on the far right has got the place value of 1 and the place value of 1 is 2's then the next one is 4's then 0 has the place value of 8's then 1 has got the place value of 16's and the last one has got the place value of 32's so these are the place values of these numbers remember I want to convert these numbers into base 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply each number by its press value and then we we add them. We add those products. So we're going to have 32 multiplied by 1 will give us 32 plus 16 multiplied by 1 will give us 16 plus 8 multiplied by 0 will give us 0. Then 4 multiplied by 1 will give us 4. 2 multiplied by 1 will give us 2. 1 multiplied by 0 will give us 0. Okay? And those numbers, they should be in brackets like you, like I've done there. Then we're going to say divide by 8 multiplied by 1 will give us 8. Plus 4 multiplied by 0 will give us 0. Plus 2 multiplied by 0 will give us 0. 1 multiplied by 1 will give us 1. Remember, the products of these, uh, you need to add them. Then the sum you get, that is the uh, number in base 10. Oh, yeah, yeah, in base 10. So I'm going to say 32 plus 16 will give us 48. 48 plus 4 plus 0 will give us 48 still. Uh, 48 plus 4 will give us 52. 52 plus 2 will give us 54. 54 plus 0 will give us 54. So that is the sum of the that. So it's 54. Okay, then uh, divide by 8 plus 0 will give us 8. 8 plus 0 again will give us 8. 8 plus 1 will give us 9. So divide by 9. Okay, now we have converted uh, the numbers in question into base 10. Okay, so we're going to Find the difference, which is the quotient, which is 54 divided by 9, it will give us 6. 54 divided by 9 will give us 6. 
okay now we need to convert 6 into base 2 again okay so we're going to use this i'm going to draw the flame here okay okay this is the flame i've drawn now i've just noted something that uh, the numbers in the question are not written the base is not given so there they should be base 2 and here base 2 okay even if i didn't indicate uh, the base <coughs> the base of the number in this green where i've written the pinky numbers on top uh, beta but in the question the sign base 2 was supposed to be there so that you know but as i'm working if i have left the base 2 there in the my working it's fine as long as i know that it is in base 2 okay now once i've done this the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to now let's come to the flame which i've drawn now the flame which i've drawn so i've drawn the flame so here i'm going to put two there then on the middle two that is the two i've put there is, 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 is in the base in which i want to convert six into so there on the middle i'm going to put the number i want to convert which is six so i'm going to put six there so if you had 20 which i was supposed to convert in convert into two, into base two i could have put in 20 there even if it was 500 i could have put 500 where 6 is so there we put the number that we are converting into base 2 then uh, on the far right side i'm going to put r for remainder so r stands for remainder so whichever remainder i get i'm going to be writing it where the the column where there is r okay so we have got six so we can say how many times can two go into six we are saying three times remainder zero two going to six three times one leaving a remainder which is a zero or without leaving a remainder then we write two down here then we say two into three it will go one time remainder one then we write two here two into one the one i'm talking about is the one which is in the middle two into one it will go zero times two cannot go into one okay a mathematical i know you can say it can go into one and it will give us the answer which is 0 0.5 but two cannot go into one and give us an answer which is a whole number okay so since it will give us a decimal or a fraction that means it will go zero times then two into one it will go zero times remainder one okay now we have remained with a zero on the middle so that means our calculation has ended so the next thing now we need to copy the answer remember when you're writing the answer in this method you start by writing you get the answer uh, the answer is gotten from the remainders and you write the answer starting from down going upwards like this the way my arrow is pointing so you start with the number which is on the bottom and end with the number which is on top so here we can write one from the bottom which is one then next is one again then zero and then we should also write that it is in base two so dividing one one zero one one zero base two divided by one zero zero one in base two will give us the answer which is one one zero base two so basically this was the answer examiners expected from you students let's go to the next question